Congratulations on your purchase of your Sunstream boat lift with Bluetooth control system. The next thing to do is to download the app from either the Apple or the Android store. And that's what the icon looks like. And after you download that, you, you open the app. And you'll see it either says finding lifts or find lifts. If it says find lifts, click it and it will look for all the lifts in the area. And you can see it's found this one. Actually, it's two of them. The C2 is the IP address for this one. The other one here is the demo that's you just slide that over. That's the demo lift that's in the warehouse that's seen. You notice that he's not actually connected to these. You can see the voltage and the area codes of, of battery weak and bad battery that, that is sensing in that box. That's, a, that's a really handy if you want to diagnose a power pack that uh, you're not connected to. So let's connect to the RC. It gives you instructions to press the red button. And there you go. And you can see the blue Bluetooth. Now this should be operating. You can test it out. Great. Now if you want to change the name of your lift, let's see too, hit the, that I button right there. And let's rename that to, let's say, my boat. And they go back up to see. And there it is, my boat. Let's look at some of the features of the app. If you notice once you're connected, your voltage and your error codes are displayed on top. You also have a slide out menu on the left, which if you want to keep your screen awake, that's handy if it's your, your screen is on your dashboard as you're coming in for docking. For Android users, to vibrate on key press to give a tactile feel. And if you want to unpair a particular device, if you hit that Dean there, you can actually pick out which of those you want to uh, unpair from. We also have another menu in the, you can slide that back over to the left on the that I button. We visited that regarding the boat naming, but you can also see that you could put in the inspection date uh, and uh, as also when the, the uh, battery was installed, which is handy to know. You can pair as many transmitters or apps to a control box as you want. But it's important to note that you can only operate the lift with one device at a time. Each device will go into sleep mode after five seconds. If you want to delete all the devices from RC, you can press and hold the red button for 20 seconds. A Bluetooth transmitter is different than the RF, is that a, a single transmitter can only work on a single RC box. You can't use it a one transmitter on multiple boxes. So when we want to pair a transmitter to the box, we first want to clear the memory uh, to make sure it's not paired to another device. So to clear the memory, just press the up and down button at the same time and watch for the flashes. In five seconds, it is cleared. You can test it, Dean, see if it's cleared. Okay, great. Now to pair a transmitter from that point, hit the one button to wake it up, hit the red button, and hit the up button a couple times until it starts working. There's similar features of the 401, including the security mode, which if you enter one, two, two, three, then program, it actually locks out the keypad. That's great security. So if someone breaks into the customer's box, you can only operate the box with the 
uh, app or the transmitter. A favorite feature, depressurize. By doing this, you can depressurize the system and the quick disconnects are easy to pop off. Like previous units, it has light posts, which enables up to five amps on DC 12 volt for lights that turn off after five minutes. The system is designed to give you early warning for a low battery situation. If you're operating the lift with the transmitter or the app and it starts and stops, that means it's less than 10 volts. And you can operate the lift on the, the control box in the power pack smoothly. Have your battery charge in the power pack right away. To operate the transmitter, click up any button once just to wake it up and then it's operating. This is also handy to prevent accidental operation while in your pocket. To change the battery in the transmitter, simply use a prying device, there's no screws, to pop out the top lid and then remove the interior. And you can see the battery's right there. It's just a uh, CR32. To reassemble, the battery goes face down toward the bottom of the transmitter. Then put the mem membrane on top. And then click on the top. The transmitter is designed for it to be water resistant up to about three, four feet for a length of time. One cool feature for the transmitter, it tells you if you're in range or not. If we wake it up and then operate it, the solid red, if it's in range connected, let, let's turn this off. And now if we operate it there, it flashes, it's not connected. That's really handy when you, you're far away from your lift where you can't hear the hydraulics. The transmitter goes into sleep mode five seconds after operating with this flash of light. You can wake up the app by pressing any of the buttons. You can see the blue icon, Bluetooth icon, which will go off in five seconds. If you're out of range, that icon is grayed out as well. You can easily switch between products by hitting the back button on the upper left, choosing the next device and connecting. Well, I hope you're as excited as we are about the new Bluetooth RC and the app. It's a new industry first, and uh, it's going to continue getting better and better as we update the app with new features. If you have any thoughts or for suggestions, please reach out to us. Hey, thanks for listening.